Hey, welcome back to our podcast, your go-to source for all things real estate and lifestyle in the heart of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Jackson Christian Mary. And I'm Jean Christian Mary. <laughs> and together we're here to guide you through the vibrant world of Fort Worth and surrounding suburb living. We believe in creating a community where everyone feels at home. And that's why we're committed to bringing you honest, expert advice in a fun and friendly way. From the bustling streets of downtown to the serene suburbs, we've got the scoop on what makes each area unique. Each week we'll dive into the latest market trends, offer tips for both buyers and sellers, and share insider knowledge to help you make informed decisions. So whether you're a first time home buyer, a seasoned investor, or just curious about some of the Fort Worth charming neighborhoods, you're in the right place. Let's jump into today's episode. Welcome back. We are back with Welcome Home Fort Worth, and uh, we're glad to have you guys with us today. Today we're doing our tips and tricks. So we're going to start off with, uh, this is kind of a different kind of a flair for tips and tricks. I'll say. So um, Jackson's not sure about this one, yeah. but but we are, um, I'm coming at this from a funny perspective, When right? you've been in real estate for 18, 19, 20 years, like you have, whatever the, that dang number is, <laughs> uh, you, you just do what you want to do. And we're all going to be like, oh, I never thought never about thought that. Never thought about it that way, right? Okay. So here's where we're going with today. Today, we're going to talk about, um, well, first of all, let me ask you a question. So if you were to guess in yeah. this country, yeah. in the U.S., what percent of people do you think are visual learners? Mm. Um, I would think visual would be on the higher end. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a pretty, mm -hmm. like, I feel like a lot of schooling is, is geared around visual it kind is. of stuff. So yeah. I would guess, I don't know, 70% uh, mm -hmm. maybe? Yeah, like you're, you're very, very close. Okay. So 65%, 65% wow. okay. of our country yep. is visual learners. Really? That's huge. It's very big. Jeez. And so most of the, the ways that they teach school mm -hmm. and um, the way we do our signage even yeah, sure. or, you know, roadways and yep. all that kind of thing, it, it comes from a visual place. Interesting. So 30% uh, are auditory Hmm. Learners, and they hear, they learn by hearing. And five percent, and five percent are kinesthetic. Learners. Really, by feeling? Is that by doing? It, yeah, it's by doing. By doing. Okay. And it's they're such left out, and they have such a hard time. Sure. Yeah. It's five percent. Five. It's oh my such a Small percentage. Wow. But um, they tend to be real, real driven and sure. real, uh, real neat learners. Well, if you're able to survive an environment that's geared exactly. for seventy-five percent, wow, that's wild. Exactly. So we're going to talk to wow. um, today. We're going to talk about real estate through a visual learner's kind of a lens yep. here. So you're going to be losing. Again, money. excluding the poor 5%ers and the 30%ers. Yes, the yes. 30%. once again, once again, guys, you're going to get left out. <laughs> if you're kinesthetic, let us know in the comments. Though. We'd really be, yeah. What what? That, that's really fascinating. And how would we yeah. do real estate? Yeah, what would that look like? That'd be really interesting. We'll, we'll come up with that, yeah. with that series. Yeah, yeah. Come up with that one. Um, so we're t talking about using your eyes in real estate today. So we're going to go, go at this from both a seller's perspective and okay. also from a buyer's perspective. Cool. So first of all, we're going to start, start off with sellers. So one of the things I'd really like for our sellers to be great at would be to think of seeing their property mm -hmm. through the buyer's eyes. Okay. So for example, and I, I broke this down into like three phases. Cool. So we're going to say the first phase is the front exterior of the property. Curb appeal. Curb appeal, the front, the first thing you get to, cool. the first thing you see. So that's going to be phase one. Phase two will be the interior of the mm -hmm. home. And then phase three will be the backyard, cool. the, the outside back area. So first phase one. So think of this. A buyer gets out of the car. They pull up to the drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. They park. They're already looking through the windows at the house. Mm -hmm. They're already seeing it. They're excited about it. They step out of the car. They're looking at the ground. Mm -hmm. They're looking at the sidewalk. They're looking at the walkway. Mm -hmm. They're slowly approaching up. So the things as a seller that you're going to want to keep in mind that the buyers are going to be really paying attention to, and this is like the very first thing they see, is going to be your landscaping. Yeah, sure. It's going to be, did you trim your trees up? Right. Did you light up all of your edges yep. for your grass? Mm -hmm. Do you have flowers? Do you have weeds in the flower beds? Yep. Are your gutters cleaned out? Yep. Are your lights working? Yep. What does the front door look like? So that's going to be kind of the whole approach. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to see that through a buyer's eyes and think, okay, what are the things I need to do with my house? Okay. Like if I was going to be selling a house tomorrow, I would even think to go as far as to have a friend or a relative come over and say, pull up to my house and mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me what you see as sure. you walk into the door. Yeah, sure. And get some feedback on mm -hmm. it. So that's something you can do to really work to make your house super, super attractive to mm -hmm. a buyer. And keep in mind as a seller, you're kind of playing matchmaker. Yeah. 
you're trying to match up buyers with your house. Yep. And so you're going to really want to show her off. You're going to want to show off her best features. Yeah. It's a first date. It's a first date. It's a first date. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. It's a first date. So that's <laughs> Unless when you first dated your significant other. <laughs> Unless it was you, bad. You didn't. You, then it's not a first date. It's a better yeah. than first date. If you didn't really try. Yeah. <laughs> you just kind of happen. Yeah. 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 Do better. Yeah. Do better than that. Yeah, we're going to do better so we can. Yes. So, so you can make more money. So you can make more money. That's right. It's all about that's right. working to make better the best match. money you can. Mm -hmm. So um, those are the things. And keep in mind, guys, whenever. You know, as a realtor, mm -hmm. you've got to get the key out, you know, and you got to unlock the lockbox. Mm -hmm. Everybody is standing right there on the porch mm -hmm. while you are undoing the lockbox and getting the key out. And they are looking all around. Yep. So that porch is super important. True. That's where you're going to want to have decorations. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to have the door needs to be clean or polished or painted. Um, you're going to want to have a nice rug mm -hmm. or have, have the bugs, you know, wiped off of the walls. Sure. All those kind of things. Yep. So that, that's really the direction to go. And think about, like, get, go stand on your porch. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go in and out of their house through their garage. Yeah, right. And so they never even think you, you about it. You forgot about it, right. Yeah, people forget about their yeah. front porch. So go stand on that front porch, stand there for a minute, and think, what would you be saying if you were that buyer? Cool. So that's kind of a way to think about that and to kind of see through their eyes for the front exterior. Um, I think those are the things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Something else that a lot of our sellers do is they'll remove the screens mm -hmm. from the windows because that makes the windows look yeah, shinier and then get them, get them washed. It makes uh, more light go inside too, which Absolutely. is nice. yeah, It's a brighter you, interior. Yes. And if you have solar screens, I get a lot of sellers that mm -hmm. say, do I take them off? Yeah. Why not? Some of that depends on if they take them off, is it going to make it super, super hot inside? Right. So that's sure. going to be a down thing. But sure. if it doesn't, and you're, depending on what time of year you're selling, mm -hmm. then take them off. Yeah. Yeah. Show those windows because yep. they're the eyes of the house. So those are kind of the things to think about visually. The yeah. other thing is go ahead and grade your house on a zero to 10 on visually. How does phase one, how does it look? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, zero to 10. Are yep. you a 10 for phase one? Are you a five? Mm -hmm. What are you? Yeah, I think I think throughout this whole conversation, the hardest part for you as the person doing this mm -hmm. is going to be separating your emotional connection to your house. Absolutely. Um and or, or and maybe not your emotional. Thing, this is for me. I'm just talking about me right now. Okay, for me, it's separating the things that I have known are things I need to do that I've been like, you know, that's not like pressing, right? Uh -huh. right. And so for me, it's more of the things that I just live with with the house. Sure. Whether it's a, a dirty, you know, window or whatever uh -huh. it is that that's come up, and 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 really going back into like, okay, I don't live here. Yeah. I'm looking at this for the first time. Uh, what are the things that I see? Oh yeah, duh, I'm gonna see the thing that I've seen for. I'm, that's on my list, but it's like number you know ten. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you want to start really considering mm -hmm. doing. So I've actually got sellers that negotiated really really hard for something to be done uh -huh. on the front of the house, yeah. and they got money for it. Sellers or buyers? These are sell that were selling were, uh -huh. were buyers when they bought the house, but okay. they're selling now. Oh, got it. Got it. And um, they negotiated really hard when they bought it uh -huh. for this money yeah. to. Except and they never did it. And they did it. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's still there. Totally. And they're like, yeah. oh, I guess I got to do that That's now. hilarious. So, and a lot of times sellers say, right? They yeah. say, oh my gosh, my house has never looked yep. better. We might need to stay because yep. mm -hmm. it never looked better before. Mm -hmm. yep. but, but those are the things you want to do. Yep. So go ahead and then also pay attention to any kind of odd or weird sign decor that you might have on the front, you know, little rugs that say funny things. Just be thinking that you're trying to show your house mm -hmm. to its best advantage mm -hmm. and you don't want to narrow your buyer mm -hmm. pool. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure and keep your, your house exposed in all the ways it possibly can in the most number of yeah. buyers possible. Well, I, I would, I would add to that. Like, you know, uh, the, I would think of that as you're trying to make the house a house that when they walk into it, it feels like their house. Exactly. Right. And so if there are things in the house that they see that are like that strike them and remind them that this isn't my house, that because they either, either you know, it could be political signs or it could be uh, religious things or whatever. I mean, just whatever you want to or consider just doing little or just stuff. fun little silly things like it yeah. can be any of those extremes. Right. Or those things. Um, those are the things to just consider. You don't have to, but it's things mm -hmm. to consider because those are the things that are going to disconnect. When somebody sees it, it's right. gonna remind them, oh yeah, this isn't my house. Yeah. Because when they walk in and when they walk in and they're able to just think, wow, if I lived here, I'd be so happy. Yeah. Right. And or if this was my house, right. And the things that 
snap them out of that if this was my house are the things that disconnect with yeah. that, right? And so. a lot of times it's visual. Yep. And um, you're just trying to leave space, like mm -hmm. you're saying. You're leaving space for, yeah, them, for them to find themselves to settle in that yeah. house. Yeah. 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 To just see themselves in the home. Exactly. Yeah. So those are you know some kind of things. You, you, the most number of buyers we can get through yeah. the house yeah, yeah. that feel a connection to mm -hmm. the house, then the more likely you're going to get a ton yeah. of offers. That's what we're really looking for there. All right. Um, that's phase one for sellers. Mm -hmm. So phase one for buyers. So buyers, the same thing. You go backwards with what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Those are the things you're going to pay attention to. Yeah. Those are the things you're going to notice and watch when you come walking up to the front of the house. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you're going to be, you're going to be looking for seller's motivation. Mm -hmm. So what motivation would be connected to a seller who did all of those things? Yeah. A seller who does all of these things, who makes that house amazing, mm -hmm. who addresses all of these issues so mm -hmm. that you get a 10 on that sure. phase one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be a seller that really wants to sell. They're motivated to sell. They have a plan. They want to get it done. Yep. They're also going to expect a high price because mm -hmm. they've done all of the work. Sure. So that gives you a little inkling to kind of maybe the seller's motivation and what's yep. going on in their head. As well, well. And, and also an inkling into like, are are you going to be in a competitive environment? You know, yes. how does this house rate yep. and with, with all those kinds of things? Absolutely. And you're going to want to, along with uh, buyers for what you're going to be watching and looking for, when you pull up, you're going to also be looking at the street, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. neighbors on yeah, each totally. side, the neighbors across the street. Yeah. How's the area feel? How's the yeah. area? How's the maintenance? Yep. Yeah. Could you see yourself and your family on that mm -hmm. at that house in that front yard? So those that's kind of what you're going to do with a, as a buyer. You're mm -hmm. going to be keeping an eye out for that. Also grade it. You know, do the same thing as a buyer. Sure. Grade the house. Um, I would grade the outside front, the inside, and then the outside. Yep. Yeah. And that'll help you also know if this is a house that you want to do anything with. Investors, a lot of times, if it's a if it's a flip kind of a house, what you'll see is you'll get a great score on the front you'll get a great score on the interior. Mm -hmm. But then the back is where a lot of investors don't sure. do anything. Yeah. So you won't get a very good score on the back. Yeah. And there are some investors that do a complete flip where mm -hmm. they'll make the entire property look amazing. Sure. Um, so it just depends on what kind of investor you want to buy from. Yep, of course. And that may give you an inkling as to what they may have also skimped on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are kind of some things to keep in mind. Um, so that's phase one. Cool. The front. Mm -hmm. Um, the approach, mm -hmm. phase two is the interior. Inside. So when you go inside, uh, you're going to be looking for things like, um, are the air registers clean? Mm -hmm. That is that is a detail that is so minute, mm -hmm. but it's something that shows that they have really done everything mm -hmm. they need to do. Sure. Um, well, and it also means that you're, uh, as a buyer looking at that, considering purchasing that home, it, there's a good chance that they've not maintained those Vents, and as a result, mm -hmm. like that unit's been worked harder than it needed to be worked, and it may have taken years off that unit for sure. So, yeah, and it messes up coils, yeah, and all kinds of stuff yep. like that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, along with that is the trim work. Mm -hmm. you, what a lot of people do is they'll look at the trim work on a house and see mm -hmm. is it clean, yep. first of all, yeah, is it is it painted, yeah. is it freshened up, yep. you know, how is that, is it all chewed up by yes, dogs? it's always chewed up by dogs, <laughs> in my house. always. Yeah, no matter what. the door, right? Or they just ding up. They just ding. Yeah, the door. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Door. Both of those all the time, no uh -huh. matter what it is. Like, that, we just know that moving into the house. That's yeah. what it's going to be. Yep. It is. Uh -huh. It is. The other thing you can look at it, you know, the switch plates on the wall. Uh -huh. Are they busted off? Are they busted? Yeah. Are they dirty? <laughs> Did true. anybody wipe them off? Yeah. yeah that's, that's Anybody who's ever had a dog that has to wear a cone has busted off yeah. uh, outlets. That's yeah. just the way. It, that's the way that works. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Hey, everyone. Real quick before we get back to the show. If you're on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, we'd love to connect with you. We post a lot of content like this in case you miss an episode, along with more Fort Worth and surrounding suburb, local insights and finds. You can find our team at the Christenberry Group on all social platforms, or you can connect with Jackson and I personally on our Facebook and our Instagram accounts. Just be prepared for lots of pictures of my grandson on either account. Now back to the show. So hopefully the seller was motivated enough mm -hmm. that they wanted yeah. to get all that fixed. Yeah, for like, for what is it, 25 cents, 50 cents or yes. whatever. You know, yeah, yeah. They're, they're so cheap to replace. Hopefully they did the work. Yeah. And if they didn't, well, then maybe you can go in, in this market and do a sure. deal, right? Yeah, yeah, Get some negotiation and all that done. Um, do you see anything visually that needs repair? Mm -hmm. So that would be the other thing is really look around and see if there's repairs needed. Are there, when you come in the door, are there scratch marks on the wood floor? Mm -hmm. I mean, right there in the entry, is yeah. that a thing? 
Um, you're going to want to address that in some form or fashion yep. or be ready to yeah. with some kind of a uh, money or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, are there photos? I mean, are there photos everywhere? Did they did they take some of the photos down? Mm-hmm. Can you see yourself in the house? Mm-hmm. That's going to be a thing to think about as sure. the seller when you're getting ready. Yeah. Um, also, you know, are they, uh, did they do some staging? Is it cluttered? Is it not cluttered? Sure. Um, are the windows open? So as a seller, you're going to want to keep things from in front of the windows. That's a big piece to show yeah. both. Windows cost. Every time you put a window into a house mm-hmm. and you put a new construction, that's more of a cost. Sure. So open up those windows, yeah. show those. Um, are the light fixtures there? Are there light bulbs in the window? In, yeah. the, in the light fixture, uh-huh. you know, you got to have the light everywhere. Sure. If you're a seller, visually, turn the lights on. Mm-hmm. You know, people worry about electric bills. You're you're selling the house. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a little bit more on your electric mm-hmm. bill, but that's okay. Yep. Turn the lights on. Turn lamps on. Yeah, I would say it's match on. your colors too. Mm-hmm. As, as I know that, like, I've talked to lighting people who. It seems like there's supposed to be a certain yeah. bulb and a certain, yeah. certain lumen amount that's used for each room. Mm-hmm. So I get that there's ideas for that. I can tell you that when I walk through a room that's got really orange lighting in the living room and really like white lighting in the kitchen, mm-hmm. like and those two are connected, mm-hmm. it clashes. Yeah. And so pick. I would say pick the same bulb for all the rooms. Make sure that when the lights are on, it feels very bright. It feels very airy, especially if you have dark flooring, Absolutely. especially if you have dark paint in your interior. You want to lighten it up as much as you can to overcompensate for those yeah. things. Because the light look opens it. It seems bigger. It seems bigger. It also seems cleaner. Yeah. Um, it's going to feel more, uh, there's going to be more energy in it. Yes. The light too. Yes. Is what it be, so, yeah. It's happier. Yeah. Brighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. The other thing to think about, you know, a lot of times sellers, they have certain decor items mm-hmm. that may have cost a lot of money. Sure. Or they are just really excited about yes. them or they like them yep. a lot. Keep in mind, we're trying to showcase the things that are staying with the house, mm-hmm. not the things that are going. Now, along with that, you do want to try to create a theme. Yeah. So if you have a, a big whiskey collection sure. and you've got a beautiful whiskey cabinet sure. and it's not staying, it's yeah. going to go with you, but it lands to the ambiance of decadence sure. or luxury yeah. or something like that, and you have more of a luxury kind of a home. Yeah then that's that's helping with the theme. Yeah, right? yeah. So you can showcase that. Um, if you have, you know, a book collection and you've got this amazing library, mm-hmm. things like that, yeah. you, you can definitely showcase those kind of items if they help with yeah. the theme that you're trying yeah, to do yeah. with the marketing. Yeah, if, if you've interior, interiorly, that's not a word, sure, but if you've decorated yeah, your home, it, yeah, if you've decorated your home in, in, in the interior um, with a theme in mind, I imagine you'll be okay usually. Mm-hmm. Um, as long as it's somewhat within today's realm of where it needs to be modern wise, um, it's people like myself, um, who like, you kind of just decorate your home to survive sometimes, mm-hmm. um, and, and support the family that you have or this, or the lifestyle that you've chosen to live with dogs yep. or whatever. Right. Yep. And so, um, my theme isn't always matched like it needs to be. Right. And so I have to come through and think about this differently and treat my house a little differently than if I had just along the way staged mm-hmm. it that way and yep. built my interior that way. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, we go into houses where it's a very strong uh, feminine theme. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of leopard. Yeah, yeah. Pink, uh-huh. A lot of, lot of, you know, fancy kind of mm-hmm. decor. Mm-hmm. Um, and if that theme is constant throughout the home yeah. and it's not too overdone, sure. That that can be amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know, that can, you just want to remember who's your audience. Yep. Um, who's your audience for the type of property that you're selling? Yep. And how. How wide do you want that audience to be? Mm-hmm. Do you want it to be more neutral so that you have more people coming through? Sure. That's usually what people are yeah. looking for. Um, you know, if you have if you have a beautiful backyard, mm-hmm. you're going to want to make sure that that's what the person comes through. Like if you're on a lake mm-hmm. and you come through the door and the first thing you see is the lake, you don't want curtains there. No. Or you don't no, want no, any no. furniture there. No. You want to really You want to stun them. You want to stun them. Mm-hmm. So that's showcasing your best features of yep. your house so yep. that playing matchmaker yeah. getting somebody to fall in love yeah you're just yeah totally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the idea is get people to fall in love yeah and you can do that real simply with removing things or bringing a few things in mm-hmm. having a stager um having paint people come in yeah. i do some paint i think the thing that stops a lot of sellers is they they don't have the connections they don't have the contacts mm-hmm. that they trust to come sure. in and take care of that yeah so that's where a realtor that has the connections with painters, electricians, sure. handymen, all that can come in and help yeah. you. Um, but I mean, that's that's usually why people don't do that. Sure. 
And they think it might be too expensive and they haven't gotten any bids yeah, or checked it totally. out to see. Mm-hmm. And, it, and think about it, you know, I've had sellers before that didn't want to spend maybe $2,000 mm-hmm. to make an extra five. Oh, man. And it, yeah. would, and it would. Or like to make an extra five because it, it, like on the home sale, like just on the price, but also like it's going to be one less thing to negotiate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that's the, the, the buyers may think that's a bigger deal than mm-hmm. we both know it is. Right. And so... If you could have the chance to just take control of that and just go ahead and make it a non thing, can it save you a lot of hassle for sure? Yeah. And I almost always, if there's any way at all to be able to, for the seller to afford it, almost always I'm going to recommend fresh paint mm-hmm. sure. and flooring. Yeah, sure. So those are the two things yeah. that a lot of times my sellers will say things like, well, we don't know what color they really want mm-hmm. it to be. So we're just left it alone and we'll give them an allowance. Sure. Or we didn't know what kind of flooring they'd mm-hmm. want. It doesn't really matter what they want. Mm-hmm. The fact that they come in and they see that it's well maintained mm-hmm. and it looks fresh yeah. and it feels fresh, that's more important. Yeah, of course. If they rip it out later, it's okay because it still sold the yeah, house. Yeah, of course. So that's kind of a thing we just say, go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. Just go ahead and do it. Do it. You can do it cheap. Just do it. Yep. <laughs> like you said earlier, you're no longer living in the home. Yeah. You're marketing yeah. the home. You're- yeah, it's a model home. You know that you just kind of live in while exactly. you're getting them, and that, and the reason for that, it's going to be a little stressful, <laughs> yeah. a little more hecticness mm-hmm. to the life, right? But the reason for that is because it's going to help you get the profit that you want to get. Absolutely, it's all about yeah. you're working. Again. Unless you're, you know, if your goal is convenience, then you can yeah. have a different conversation. Yep, you, you, whole we, different. We can have a whole different conversation. Mm-hmm. But if most folks, when they come to us, they're wanting the biggest, biggest profit in the least amount of time. That's usually what we get. Yeah, and so. Um, that for it to reach that goal, you're going to want to do these things. Absolutely. Yeah, especially in this market. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Because there's a lot more competition. Mm-hmm. Same thing with buyers. Buyers in phase two, you're going to go through and you're going to look at all of the the way they keep it clean. Mm-hmm. Are they organized? Mm-hmm. Do they have things organized? That That's going to lend itself to the idea that this is an organized, well-maintained home. Sure, yeah. Um, you're going to also look through and see if there's any repairs. Make your list of repairs that need to be done that you can already see visually. Yeah. Still going to get an inspection done, of mm-hmm. course. But the things you can already see visually, yeah. make your list. Mm-hmm. Grade the house on the interior. What does it look like on the interior? Is it a zero to a 10? Yeah. What is the floor plan like? Something that's real fun for a buyer to do is you can actually um, go through a day in your house while you're while you're looking at it. Mm-hmm. So go into the bedroom, pretend, visualize. Sure. You're getting up out of bed. You're going into the bathroom. You're going in the kitchen to make breakfast. You're going out to the garage, get ready to go. You're driving off, you come home. Right. You make dinner, you wash clothes, and you sit down and watch TV. Yeah. So kind of visualize some of that. Mm-hmm. And live it. S- and live in it, mm-hmm. and you're, at least in your mind and yeah. visually. And then see, is this floor plan going to work for yeah, me? Yeah, sure. And so that's something else that you can do as a buyer when you go through the house and you're looking at everything that's in there. Um, the other thing is, what is your personal theme as a buyer? So... If you have a, a way that you like to live, if you have things that you like to collect, anything like that, that you want to make sure that you showcase and mm-hmm. that's your theme that mm-hmm. you're going to put in this home, will sure. this home let you do that? Yeah. Can you can you also collect your items and do your, and, you know, you're going to have a media room mm-hmm. that showcases all of your Avengers sure. posters, you know, sure. how are you going to do that? Yeah. So that's something else the buyer can look at. Mm-hmm. So the last phase, phase three, what you're really looking for there is as a seller, Again, grade your backyard mm-hmm. and see what you think. A lot of times the sellers forget to address the fence. Yeah. The main thing that people want on fences is a lot of people have pets mm-hmm. and they want to make sure that their pets will not yeah. get out. Totally. So that's a big thing to address. Yep. Make sure that's taken care of so there's no issue there. Um, is the back, is the porch delightful? Mm-hmm. Is it a place where you can sit? Where you want to be? Where you want to be? Mm-hmm. Um, does it feel like a, you could just sit there and, and have a little bit of nature time? Sure. Um, are the, now keep in mind, buyers are going to walk all the way around your house. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people will kind of stash a bunch of stuff and, and have one side of the house that gotcha. looks bad. Sure. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Go Garage. ahead. Go ahead and get it all yep. where they can walk all the mm-hmm. way around and they won't say, oh my gosh, what's wrong with this? Yep. yep. Um, drainage is another issue sure. that, that buyers are going to be looking for. Yep. They're going to see that. They're going to look and they're going to see, oh, there's a bunch of water mm-hmm. over here or there's no grass no gra- over yep. here. So address that in some form. Yeah, of course. Whether it's just putting down gravel. Mm-hmm. So that yeah, get it out of the way. So you don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah just go ahead and, and address what they're going to see. Yep. So, um, you know, is your backyard, what's the special thing about your backyard? Mm-hmm. What is it that the buyer is going to see? Are they going to see that there's nature in that backyard? 
are there birds? Mm -hmm. um, are they going to see that there's lots of privacy? Mm -hmm. Are they going to hear the people behind splashing in their pool? Mm -hmm. What do you need to do to address that so yeah. it's still a place people want to hang out? Sure. Um, is it landscaped? Right. You know, what, what is it about your backyard that you need to highlight? Right. So make sure that if you've got things that you want that buyer to see, help them see it. Yeah. Go ahead and help them see it. Same thing like on the, on the interior even. If you have systems and things that are behind the walls mm -hmm. that are special yeah. that they don't know about and they can't see. Yeah. Go ahead Tell and add that. Sure. Add that out in some paperwork somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Tells them what's, what's special about your house. And that's a great way also to get people to see what you need them to see. Mm -hmm. um, pots and plants. Yeah. Color. You got it. Cool. All those wonderful yep. things. Make sure and have that. For the buyers, again, in the backyard, when you're looking around, check out the fence. Yep. Drainage. Is there drainage. Water sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Are there water sprinklers? Is there anything that needs to be repaired? Yeah. Um, Bugs. Bugs, all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what's back there? Does it have a smell? Does it not have a smell? Um, Easements, if you got a survey, I things understand. like that, on to check out as well. Mm -hmm. Um Can you do things you want to do at the backyard. Mm -hmm. Neighbors just kind of seeing mm -hmm. if you're able to, like what's going on with mm -hmm. both sides since you'll be living next to them. But, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The other thing is a lot of times people forget to check and see where's the sun. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what direction is the sun gonna yep. be? What's this going to be like at that time of day exactly. when I'll be here? Yeah, Because you're looking at it at a certain time of day. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be like at night? Yeah. What's it going to be like in the afternoon? Is it hot? Is it shady? What yeah. is it? So, um, again, make your list of repairs. Mm -hmm. um, grade the exterior, the back of the house. Yeah. Grade it. And then just kind of look at all that all together and see, is this a house that I would like to live in? Yeah. And I think that's how you're going to be really using your eyes yep. as you walk through the house. To make sure that it's a house that you want as a buyer. Sure. And, and really sellers, looking for the stuff that matters. Exactly. Yeah. Look for what really matters. And sellers, yeah. you're going to be looking for how to get in the head of a buyer and see things the way you want them to be seen yeah, yeah. at your house. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, so use your eyes yeah. because we're visual people. Most of us are most anyway. Of us, yep. And if you're not, use your hands. Yeah. And if you're not, <laughs> use your ears. If you're not, you're, the person you're with will probably... Yeah. Be a visual person. Nobody learns through smells. Huh? Interesting. What's yeah. up with that? Not very much. <laughs> I think olfactory is part of the kind of It's got to be. Yeah. Be part of the kind of yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, um, tips and tricks today. Um, hopefully, you got something out of that. And uh, if you're wanting to buy or sell a house, uh, we know a couple of realtors that would be happy to help you. <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Yeah. Just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hopefully this will help you as you're as you're looking to really find the place that's most important for mm -hmm. you and your family. Sure. Uh, we really want you guys to find the spot that's perfect for you and that um, yeah, that you know you get your house sold really quickly yeah, too. And these are some things that'll do that in this market. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, for sure. It's cool. So come back and see us soon. We'll be back again next week. Sounds good. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching the podcast today. If this has been valuable for you at all, we sure could use your help getting the word out to more people. If you're listening on an Apple Podcasts or Spotify, go ahead and give us a follow and consider taking just maybe two minutes um, to leave us a review. Both do wonders for our show with the algorithm and on both platforms, all you gotta do, head over to our show page on Spotify, hit three dots and select rate. And on Apple, all you gotta do is just scroll down to the show and say, leave a review. So you just click that. If you're seeing this on Facebook or Instagram, a like or comment puts all the good vibes out in the algorithm for us. And on YouTube, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new episode. Join us again next week for more Fort Worth housing news and updates. Until then, y'all have a great week.